Hi there, my name is Veena Prashant. I'm the co-founder of Digital Access Pass, a membership plugin for WordPress. Today, I'm going to take you behind the scenes to give you a quick tour of DAP and show you what makes DAP different. There are so many different membership plugins and platforms. So people often ask us, what is different about DAP, right? Why should I buy DAP? And uh, what makes it different compared to other membership plugins? And how can DAP help me? So I want to give you a quick tour of DAP to show you what makes DAP different and how and why DAP can help you more than any other membership plugin or platform you may have used before. So DAP is an end-to-end -end content delivery platform that will allow you to create a membership site and securely deliver all kinds of content. Just yesterday, someone asked me, can I use DAP if I don't want to offer memberships, but I just want to do online courses? And the answer is yes. You can use DAP just for your courses. You can use DAP even for just free offers. I do that all the time. When I start a membership site, I start with a free offer, I start with the lead magnet, start building my audience, and then I introduce other products and services such as online courses and memberships. So you don't have to offer a membership to use DAP. You can use DAP for pretty much any kind of products and services. You can protect your content. And there are so many different ways in which you can create and deliver your content using DAP, whether it's a digital download, whether it's a freebie, whether it's a paid offer, free offer, it doesn't matter. DAP comes with an advanced learning management platform, which I'm really proud of because it's completely different than any other uh, learning management platform you may have used before because DAP's built-in learning management system will allow you to increase your course engagement and course completion rate. There are so many different built-in gamification features that you're going to need to keep your audience engaged. Now let's take a look at a typical user experience. So users go to the login page to login to access your products, your courses, and you can create a login form like this using DAP's login page builder. They can enter their email and password and login. When they log in, they will be sent here. And where you send users when they log in, that's completely up to you. And you can create a dashboard page, a member dashboard page like this using DAP. DAP comes with an advanced member dashboard builder. There are so many different options in terms of what you want your member dashboard to look like, what you want to show your users. You can fully customize it in the back end and you can configure different options in the back end. So this is where I send users when they log in. And I have created this tab based structure using my page builder. I use Thrive Architect as my page builder. So there are five different tabs and it's up to you whether you want to create a tab based structure or you want to just use the short codes that DAP gives you wherever you want. And everything that you see here, it's customizable in the back end. Now, I want to display the user's profile image and name and email and a way for them to update their profile details. And the different sections that you see here, you can configure it in the back end. So for example, I want to show them all the courses they have enrolled in but have not started yet. So you can create a section like this and if there are multiple products, a slider will show up so they can slide right and see the rest of the products. This is a good reminder for them that it's just waiting for them and they have not taken action yet on these courses not enrolled yet. This is a great way to show your students other courses that you have that they have not yet enrolled in. When they click on learn more, it will send them to the sign up page uh, or the sales page of this course so they can get started. They can sign up and get started. And if you also offer other products, freebies, services, then you can use this section to display all the other products that they have not yet signed up for. And I'm using the rewards tab where users will find different ways in which they can earn rewards. They can see how many points they have, how they can earn more points, and what they can do with the points, they can go to the store and they can redeem access to my other products and services using their points. So I'm using a gamified membership site from where I offer courses, freebies and membership. So they can go to the reward center to do that. And I'm using our Game of Points plugin, which is a gamification plugin for DAP. Unlike other membership plugins or LMS where you will need third party uh, plugins or platforms to add some gamification experience, you don't have to do that with DAP because yes, you don't need to activate the Game of Points plugin, but everything else, you can do it in DAP as part of your course creation process because it's all well integrated into DAP because the Game of Points plugin is our own plugin. Now let me show you the user experience. So here you can see this is the course where the user has enrolled in, but has not started yet. This is a free course. I'm gonna click on access content. Now I have created this course using DAP's built-in course template. And I didn't even have to create this in WordPress. Everything I created it in DAP. DAP comes with an advanced course builder. And there's a progress bar at the top. This is the first lesson page. I send users here and they click on access my content in the member dashboard. And there is a video at the top and you can see there's some content here. And the cool thing is you can add custom tasks to your lessons in DAP. So say that you want users to sign up for your Facebook group. You want users to subscribe to your YouTube channel. Say that you want users to sign up for another one of your courses. 
and you want users to confirm that they have done that before they are allowed to go to the next lesson. You can do this using that. This is so effective because if you just have joined my Facebook group, but you don't really require them to confirm, you don't really require them to click a button to confirm that they have actually done it, the chances that they will just read the text and take the action is not very high. But if you add it like this, like you can see here, there's this entire section that shows up and a step-by-step, -step, subscribe to our YouTube channel, join our Facebook group, confirm that you have watched this video. So when users see this, and you can make all of these required in the backend where users have to click on the mark as complete button for each one of these tasks to confirm they have done it uh, before they can click on mark as complete. So if they just click on mark as complete, they cannot go to the next lesson uh, until they complete each individual task. But that's up to you. If you want to just add these sections, but don't require them, that's fine too. In which case, even if they don't click this button, they can click on mark as complete and move on to the next lesson. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. So you can see here, it says subscribe, thanks for subscribing, and that will give them points when they complete this task. So that's the reward for completing the task you want them to complete. This is such a great way to get your users to take your desired action. So whatever it is that's important to your business, the easiest way is to add a custom task like this one. Users can click a button to confirm they have done it before they move on to the next lesson. You don't want to add too many custom tasks on the same lesson because it can get overwhelming for your students if you have too many of these, but you can spread it out, right? You can add one task here. You can add a couple of other tasks in the next lesson and so on. So here, just to show you an example, I have added all of these here. So subscribe here, join our Facebook group. So they have to click here to confirm they have joined. Thanks for completing. And again, all of these messages that you see here, these are all configurable in the back end. Now, this is just random text. I have not customized it. All of this content that you see here, everything is fully customizable. The image that shows up, the message that shows here, this message, this uh, message, everything is fully customizable in the back end. You have full control over what your users see. And this button text also, instead of mark as complete, for example, you want to change this to say, yes, I have watched the video. You can do that. All of this can be customized differently for each custom task section. So this can say something different than this one, right? So that's completely up to you. So mark as complete, great job. Thanks for watching the video. Like I said, all of this can be customized at task level. Now they can click on mark as complete and you can see the animation here. And again, all of these are all integrated into DAP. Everything is part of the course creation process and the music will play while the animation is showing. It's amazing the kind of effect. You can create a really awesome experience for your users and encourage them uh, to keep going. And the message that shows up here, this is customizable in the back end. You can configure different messages for different lessons. Uh, you can customize all of this at lesson level. And now the next lesson button opens up. You can see here, now they can go to the next lesson. This is lesson number two in module number two. And you can see the video is here. You can add whatever content you want. You can see here, I have one task here for my users before they can move on to the next lesson. And this one says sign up for this free course. If there are specific things you want your users to do, you got to make it clear. This is what you want them to do. Otherwise, they're not going to know about it. And you got to make it really easy for them to do it. So here it says sign up for the free course and here you can add a link, right? This message is fully customizable in the back end. So here you can say, click here to sign up for my free course and, and you can have it open in a new tab where they can sign up for your free course. And then they can click on, yes, I have signed up. Thanks for signing up. Again, this message is configurable in the back end. Mark is complete. And you can see here, congrats, you have earned one point. Uh, for this demo, I'm not using any animation effect. Next lesson. So this is how this works. You can see here, this is lesson number three. You can use uh, the short code that comes with our Game of Points plugin to show them how many points they have. You can They can click on the mark as complete. And you can see this one has some animation. Music is playing in the background. So next lesson. So this is how this works. Now DAP also comes with an advanced member page builder. So if you go to the member pages in DAP, then you can see it's going to look like this. And you can let DAP know what pages you want it to create, a login page, and then my content page where they will find not just the products, but all the content that's part of the product. And so they can access it there. Profile page where they can update their account details. An invoice page, member cancellation page if you offer subscriptions and you want to allow members to self-cancel or pause and resume their subscription, you can do that here. Affiliates page where they will find detailed stats. You can use DAP to offer an affiliate program for your products and services. This one will allow you to create an affiliate facing page where they will find their a link, their stats and all the details. So this is the member dashboard that we looked at earlier. So this is the one I use and I send users to this page when they log in. But there are so many different options for course creators in DAP and 
for example, course reports page. This is an amazing interface because it will help you increase your course engagement because uh, what this will do, so this is how this one looks and DAP will create it for you. You don't even have to manually create it. And uh, here, what you display is completely up to you. And all of this is fully customizable in the back end. So here users can find their course progress from the drop down. They can select the course and it will show them how much they have completed and certificates they have earned, badges they have earned, how many points they have earned. If you use our Game of Points plugin and you give them points for different actions, then it will show them how many points they have earned, how many total points, and how they earn those points. And course activity is another awesome feature where they can see when they were last active and access the lessons. This one is a course level breakdown, so they can see past seven days information. So for example, uh, this user accessed this course only on Tuesday, right? four lessons and did not work on this course on any other day. Now let me show you my courses. This one is another amazing interface and it's going to look something like this. Here you can see enrolled in progress courses and other courses and completed courses. Access your content will send them to the introduction lesson or the first lesson of these courses. You can let DAP know where you want to send them. It will show them what their progress is, how many lessons you have, what percent they have completed, other courses that they have not yet enrolled in, Learn More will send them to the sales page or the opt-in page of that course and completed courses will show them which ones they have completed. So that's another option, student progress. Let's take a look at this one. So this is what the student progress will look like. This is a course level breakdown. So for example, this course, they can click on view lesson details. It'll give them lesson level breakdown and they can click on it to see details. For example, lesson name, start date, when they completed it. If they have completed it, it will show them the complete date. And if you have a quiz attached using Smart Quiz Builder, which is our quiz plugin, we use that. And if you have added a quiz to your lessons in DAP uh, through the integration between Smart Quiz Builder and DAP, then it will show them the quiz results as well. It will have a view results button here. They can click on it and there will be a site pop-up that will open up and it will show them uh, detailed results. So you have all of these options. DAP will create all of these pages for you. And uh, whichever ones you want to edit, you want to customize, just click on the edit button uh, to update the settings and pick and choose the ones you want to use and the ones you don't want to use. Now, DAP is the most comprehensive all-in-one WordPress membership plugin. Now, let me answer a few frequently asked questions for you. Number one, how do I sell my products, my courses from DAP? Now, we have a shopping cart plugin that's made for DAP. It's called Smart Pay Cart, and it's a very powerful and fully customizable, very easy to use cart plugin for WordPress. It integrates with Stripe and PayPal and also Authorize.net. It comes with an advanced drag and drop checkout page builder. You can add order bumps on your checkout. And unlike other shopping cart plugins where you can just add one order bump on your checkout, SPC supports multiple order bumps. You can add as many order bumps as you want on your checkout. You can even offer a subscription product as an order bump when you use Smart Pay Card. You can offer multiple payment plans. Uh, it supports one click and members area upsells. And it also comes with a visual funnel builder. So if you want to create your upsell funnel, your upsells and downsells. Using SPC, you can do that in no time. From dunning management to full tracking and reporting, you can do it all using Smart Pay Card. And the cool thing is it's made for DAP, so you don't have to create your product in SPC. It will pick up all the details from DAP. All you have to do is create your content in DAP, create your products, your courses uh, in DAP, your memberships in DAP. SPC knows all about DAP, so it will pick up all the details from DAP. So all you have to do in SPC is create a checkout page, and you just have to create the checkout page once. You don't have to create multiple checkout pages because it knows what product is being sold. Uh, it's a smart checkout page. So you just have to create your checkout page one. Then all you have to do going forward is create payment buttons to sell your products and services. Super simple. It's a really easy to use, but at the same time, very advanced shopping cart plugin. And it's made for DAP. Question number two, does DAP come with an email platform or do I need to use an external email platform? So there are three options when it comes to sending emails from DAP. Number one, you can use DAP's built-in email broadcast and email autoresponder feature to send all of your emails from DAP. By default, DAP will connect to your web host's email server to send out emails. So if you're on a shared hosting platform, you might run into email deliverability issues. So you might want to consider option two or three. And the option number two is connect DAP to your email SMTP server. What this means is say that you have an SMTP account with Auth SMTP or SendGrid or Amazon SES. In that case, you can connect DAP to your email server using the email SMTP feature in DAP. DAP will connect to your email SMTP server and send all the emails through that, and it will bypass your web host email server. Option number three 
Now, this is the best option and the one that I recommend because this way you can connect DAP to your email platforms such as Aweber, ActiveCampaign, ConvertKit, MailerLite. We plan on adding several new integrations in the coming months, so be sure to check out our features page for the latest integrations. Question number three, how do I connect DAP to my email platform? DAP comes with an advanced visual automation engine. So you could connect each product, each course, each membership level to a completely different list in your email platform. You can also get DAP to assign tags and send password to your email platform. This way you can set up your campaigns in your email platform. You don't have to set it up in DAP. So you have all of these options. You can pick and choose based on what works best for you. Question number four. Question number four, does DAP integrate with Zapier? Yes, DAP integrates with Zapier and you can use the same integration to also integrate with platforms such as Pabli Connect, Encharge, ConnectZip, and any platform that supports webhook mapping. And DAP will send user details, custom field details, and order details, all of that, uh, to that platform. Question number five, can I offer an affiliate program using DAP to allow my users to promote my products? Yes, you can. DAP comes with a built-in affiliate management feature from two-tier payments, affiliate coupons, full flash reports, custom affiliate links, credits, and download builder. You can do it all using DAP's built-in affiliate management feature. Question number six, what type of reports or analytics am I able to see in DAP? Now, DAP comes with a very comprehensive reporting feature. You can track all key membership stats, churn rate, retention rate, active members, expired members, total free members. You'll be able to track it in DAP's dashboard page. Question number seven, can I trigger events based on tag? Yes, you can do that. And you can let DAP know that when a content has this specific tag, any user who has access to these products can access that content. So you can do content protection using tags. You can also assign tags uh, when any of these events happen, when users make a purchase, when they sign up for your lead magnet, when they complete a course, when they complete a lesson, or if the purchase fails, they're trying to make a purchase and the purchase fails, you can assign a specific tag in that case. And you can create different tag rules for different products. So you can let DAP know what should happen when users get a specific tag? What should happen when users lose a specific tag? And you can get DAP to notify your email platform uh, when users get a tag or when users lose a tag. So there is tag automation built into DAP's automation engine. Now DAP is a lot more than just a membership plugin. It's an end-to-end -end content protection and content delivery platform. Now with DAP, not only you get great software, you also get great support. In fact, with some of our packages, we offer one-on-one -on -one call where we'll help set up DAP on your site. So definitely take advantage of this if it's included in your license. And this way we can do a call with you. We can talk to you about your specific needs, what you want your membership site to do. And we'll then give you a tour of DAP and we'll show you exactly how you can implement your specific requirement using DAP. My name is Veena Prashant. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.